Now, Dr. Jane Ashton is taking a look at some of the medical questions that you're asking, and here's one from one of our viewers. How many calories do I need to burn to lose one pound? That's from Jess. Okay, very interesting. And by the way, when I got my degree in nutrition, we talked about this because it actually has a lot of scientific, historical kind of controversy. Mm -hmm. This concept of one pound is equivalent to 3,500 calories is from the 1950s, right? <laughs> it is based on what was available science then. Now we know a lot more. It's not that simple. Um, even if you equate nine calories per, you know, per calorie um, for fat, you're still around 3,700, maybe as high as 4,100. Yes, that's true if you overeat you know, a very small amount when you get to 3,500, that mm -hmm. generally equates to one pound. But in terms of losing weight, it is not that simple because with time over the long term, your body's composition changes, your basal metabolic rate changes. And so it's not as simple as if I cut out 35 or 3,700 calories, mm. I will lose one pound. But in general, yes. I, I mean, if you're as little as 100 extra calories a day will add up over time. Uh, your prescription for all okay this. these are my tips on how to kind of outsmart or out over strategize your appetite in terms of modulating or you know maintaining weight or losing weight number one you want to keep snacks out of sight if you don't <laughs> see it you'll be less likely to reach for it uh, next you hmm. absolutely want to prep your own meals as much as possible you're mm -hmm. less likely to Who overeat I know <laughs> well do if you do it once maybe for a few days uh, don't multitask when you're eating that mindful approach to eating is really really important um, to prevent overeating and also to enjoy the process of eating and then <laughs> this is a big one for me because I do not do this eat slowly um, mm. It takes time for your, the stretch receptors in your stomach to register that there's food in there and send those signals to your brain that you've had enough. If you eat too quickly, you can still think that you're hungry when you are not. Good to know. <laughs> that is good to know. All right, thank you, Dr. Jan. And folks, hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions at ABC GMA3. That's why I eat dessert first, so I have room <laughs> for it. Or there's that. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.